Hello everyone, Donna here. Um, I was asked if I could demonstrate how I made the gumball fold it that I submitted to the Stamps of Life as a sample. And for those who do not know what I'm talking about, I'm going to flash a picture of it here so you can see what we're talking about. All right, all right, I'm a little terrified on doing this because um, I'm using some new equipment. So we'll see how it works. Santa gave me a camera and uh, I'm gonna try it out today for the very first time. When you purchase the um, gumball fold it, what you get is this big die, this die, this little piece, and then a couple of circle dies and a little lever to turn the uh, to turn the uh, the gumball handle. I'm not going to use the circles, but I will use the the little lever. <clears throat> when you start out, the first thing I did was I took the biggest die or the background die, and I cut out a piece like that. Then I went ahead and ran it with the kiss pad using the details. So these are the details. And I just ran it through with the uh, kiss pad. And if you don't know what that is, let me let me show you what that what I'm talking about. It's just a thin pad that the Stamps of Life sells to make impressions on when you're working with um, folded or to make stickers. So what it does is it makes the, the markings. Do you see the markings there? Okay. Then the next thing I did was I took this piece, I laid it over the opening like that and I ran it through the die cutter and what that does is it gives me an opening on my gumball machine okay so now we have the backing with the hole a so now to make the shaker portion what I did was I took this die, which is the detailed die with all the little pieces. I took the rim die, I embedded it as so, I taped it down so it doesn't move, and just this portion of the die I went through and cut out of um, packaging, you know, the stuff that uh, the, the, our stamps come in, the, the cardboard, and I cut like six pieces and glued them together to give me one thick piece. Leaving it intact like this, I also ran it through and cut it out with my decorative paper and also one for the backing of the, uh, the gumball. Just to, to finish it off so you're not looking at this white um, writing. Okay, so I did that. Then I ran this through twice with two different colored cardstocks. One was a pink and one was a cream and it just cuts out all the little pieces so that way we can assemble the gumball. Now comes the acetate. I went through two pieces of acetate and that you just cut out with this part right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I put the piece of paper behind it. So now you have one piece of acetate and then the second piece of acetate, which I stamped on. Now I did use, because it's acetate, I did use stays on ink. Um, and the stamps that I used, unfortunately, was from a, fortunately, unfortunately, how you want to look at it, was from a card kit and it was from card kit of 2019. And I used the Love is Sweet. Uh, my trick to using stays on, I don't use it very often, but when I do, I immediately clean it off with stays on remover 
and then wipe it with a baby wipe and then wash it under water and that cl cleans it up and as you can see it didn't even stain the stamp it's, it's just as new okay so now I just go ahead and I start to assemble the the gumball machine so I'm gonna um, do that uh, real time um, so you can see what I'm doing all right let's start putting this together um, hopefully I can stay within the screen I'm not used to this little camera the first thing I do is put all the decorative things or the front of the the gumball so I have all the little pieces and like I said before I cut it out of pink and cream and then decided how I wanted to assemble it and I also used some gold paper all right so just go ahead and lay your glue down And start following the kiss pad lines helps put this together a lot easier I don't know if you guys can see it or not but you can see the indentations so it's easier to piece to piece the, um, the part together and then I'm gonna head and continue to do this I'm gonna speed it up Well, the section that I was working on assembling the card that I was going to speed up decided not to uh, record properly. And so I went back and made another card and tried to record that. And then I realized that my new camera decided to stop working and that's why I didn't capture it. So what I was doing was I was just gluing, gl gluing down all the pieces and I added a piece of acetate on the back filled the, uh, the shaker up and then added um, the uh, acetate on the front with the words. Now, um, one part that did not uh, fail was the, how I created the, um, the actual card base. So I'm going to allow the video to go right into that. I apologize. I guess I need to get a new camera. Thank you. Okay, now to do the card part to show you how to do that. And excuse my phone as it's dinging in the background. Um, first of all, these hearts that I used were from Fancy Hearts and Spyro set at the Stamps of Life. For the base or for the, the part that opens for the card, what you do is you take a, a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock and you cut it down the long way, right smack in the middle. Fold it in half. And take it to your die cutting machine with the with the widest part of the die. And what you do is you line it up till, so it's like centered right there. And cut it. And that will give you the fold for your card base. Then you just take and you glue it onto your card. I don't want to move it too much because the glue is still wet. And I don't want the... the uh, Sorry, having a hard time there. And there we go. Like I said, I don't want to shake it too much because there's still wet glue in the corner. And that'll dry clear. And that's the card. That's the finished card. Real, real easy. Just a lot of little steps. Uh, that's why I kind of went slow. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.